When you come out of Penn College, you know that you have, and they know as an employer that you have the full realm of skills. It's not just a technical degree. And I could tell you now that without that basis that, that I couldn't do my job. We developed the training that will eventually be taught to technicians. The training is built here and then we distribute it to uh, 12 main campus regional training centers. They bring technicians into those training centers and conduct the training. I've developed two new courses this year. The basic engine course, we call it 151 uh, Engine Service and Repair. I developed Drivetrain Service and Repair, which covers everything behind the transmissions. These courses typically range from a six to eight month development cycle. I'd be developing a presentation, gathering the materials, outlining it in a presentation. But inevitably, you got to do the other side too, which is the hands-on elements. We develop a lot of in-house simulators, different training aids to, to help them with a certain subject. What this allows us to do is basically takes an entire car, pretty much, the engine control side of it, and puts it into this small workable unit. And we've actually engineered it to fully be operational. So when you push on the throttle, the accelerator works. Um, it actually will hook up to the tech stream, to the DLC through connector, and we can read like temperature sensor. We actually can pull air through the mass, emitter, uh, mass airflow meter. I saw on the tour of the campus and the facilities they had that it was going to be a, a hands-on intensive curriculum. Right off the bat, I knew that was a, a good fit. It was kind of the best of both worlds. Yes, you got the automotive training, you got to stay technical, it also mixed in the, uh, the business side of things. Walking out of Penn College with a four-year degree um, opened up a, a, a wider array of jobs that you could eventually get. Doing what I'm doing now, you have to have an extremely solid base in automotive. Basically, the core values that you learn during that uh, four-year degree, that's what you're drawing from. It. When I'm given a, an assignment, it's up to me to develop the, the overall path or the method of which we're um, going to take the class. So I have a great deal of flexibility in in how I create the class. It's that flexibility that keeps it uh, refreshing to come to, to come to work. That's what I really enjoy is the, uh, the ability to massage it into my, my own creation. And when I finally put the, the approval stamp on it at the end of the day or the end of the project, you know, it's, it's, it's part of you that's being taught to those technicians. When I go out to uh, these pilot courses or these training events, and I interact with the technicians, they might ask, you know, uh, you know, I saw some, or I attended this course, I got a lot out of it, it was a really well done course, and you can actually say, I created that. Sense of accomplishment.